I think we already have respect because it's uh, uh, almost 80, 80 clubs here uh, get together and uh, that's the main thing. We, we need to stick together because we are uh, the who uh, kind of working with the kids when they're growing up and uh, developing them to the uh, all uh, international clubs in NHL. So that's the, that's the major factor and uh, we all thinking if we stick together we're going to get the influence. Uh, the main result is that the clubs, the members, decided to give the EHC board mandate on three very important resolutions. One is about the inclusion of the clubs as uh, formal members in the IHF governance. That's very important. We have a system, 100 years of existence, that our member national association look for ice hockey in their countries. And we are a federation of federations. If we would change the membership, then it has to be a complete review of the complete system. But currently, and this is existing for over 100 years, it is like it is. So, now one can argue, is this system the right system or not? And if they want to change the system, then they have to go to the Congress. They can argue differently, but this only is possible through the member national associations. And this is, I have, as a general secretary, 77 members where I have to report to. The IHF has to be for all stakeholders, not only for the member associations. So uh, the member associations are in every country different and in some country the, the relation between the clubs and the member associations is great. In some countries they are, have big wars and that's why it's important that the, the EHC becomes like uh, Sweden, like Switzerland, like, like Italy, uh, a partner, a, a member of the IHF with all the rights and the other things they have to give to, the, to this membership. If they want to change the system, that has to start in the country and, and not with us. So uh, I don't see the problem. I see the request and we will go with the reform group to the Congress and discuss with the Congress. But I'm not the Congress. The Congress is a, is a political institution and they will vote. And if there are good arguments, then we will see how they vote. It is normal that we don't have the same meaning because uh, they are the association and we are the clubs and probably they're transparent but we don't know and as long as we don't know and not every national association is, is uh, open to inform the clubs. So we have to go step by step uh, and, and find each other closer and closer and we are working on that. And there is no problem if the Swedish clubs go to the Swedish Federation and discuss how they could improve their shares. That's something which is in Sweden, it's not our problem. Number two is uh, the resolution about reviewing the transfer regulations and the third resolution about transparency into uh, the most important revenue streams of the International Ice Hockey Federation, which stem from participation of players in various tournaments. So three uh, important resolutions were passed at this meeting. The second point is the financial transparency. We have no problem with financial transparency. We have financial transparency. And I think it's, it's one of the preconditions for a federation to really work transparent. Every figure which was requested that the clubs don't know is public. And so, as Mark Lutti said at the beginning, we, we are working together and we have to work together. We have to listen to the legitimate issues of clubs and we have to give answers in case we can. Every process is going long, like let's say the ECA in football with the UEFA, they had a six or seven year process, they had war in the beginning. Now they work quite good together and the ECA is a member of the UEFA. And we don't have a, a new EFA European uh, Federation in hockey, we have just the IHF. So let's work on it. We have started last year in 2016, now we have 2017. It doesn't go so long. We have to work step by step. We are in cooperation. The fact that I'm here shows that we are interested. We had four meetings so far with them. We have, as they said at the beginning, for one year of existence we have done quite a lot with all the things we are, we, are, we are doing and in future we will see. So you are an optimist? I am. <laughs>